Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome to another astrological astronomical update with your girl, Sunshine Monet L. Today is Monday, February 27, 2023, and we started the day off with a 49% first quarter moon um the moon rose this morning at 10 38 a.m and we'll be sitting at 1 a.m we are in the gemini zodiac energy did y'all enjoy that aries and taurus moon over the weekend that was like extremely em emotional and invoking to your intuition intuition was probably like yelling and cursing out it was very hard to ignore those um those angel numbers and those angel messages coming to you and if you have been ignoring them congratulations you are a special grade of hard-headed <laughs> um the sun rose this morning at 6 36 a.m and the sun set at 5 48 p.m the moon out the barren was in conjunction at 7 59 a.m the moon was 7.6 degrees north now this is a new pattern that's occurring with your intuition in alignment with that star located in the eye of the bull in that taurus constellation so yes even though we're in the gemini zodiac energy we're still in the taurus constellation energy and this energy is giving off the vibes of uh mars which is the intelligence and and the honor Yes, intelligence, honor, and courage. Um, also, be mindful of like politics and government and people just in authority authoritative uh spaces because this energy um kind of give light to them as well i don't know if you guys watch the news i don't so you guys could tell me better <laughs> but um also uh mercury and today about jody were at minimal ankle at 1 42 a.m mercury was 0.5 degrees north northwest no this was not visible and conjunction also cured at 4 15 a.m mercury was 0.6 degrees north now this star is located at the tail of the goat and the um and the capricorn uh, zodiac constellation and the capricorn constellation and so this star gives off the energy of getting things done determination resilience finishing up projects bringing things to a close all of that is on the forefront of your decision making mind and your expressive self start bringing some things to the close start bringing things to certain realizations time to wrap certain things up you don't let it live for long enough the first quarter moon rose this morning at 3 6 a.m remember the moon is always moving the moon is always disappearing and regaining and this first quarter moon is the moon of caution so under this moon it's like you know during this time you might feel a lot of doubt you know a lot of stress because you're not fully receiving the big picture yet or you might feel overwhelmed with the reciprocation and think that you're done because you're receiving so much re reciprocation now but no you're not done keep moving forward we are still in this stage and phase of this of this space of what you tried to manifest during the new moon and stuff like that we're not completely wrapped up please do not get wrapped up in that discouragement and stuff like that don't allow what's going on outside of you to affect all the transformation that's occurring within all right don't get blindsided at all um Taurus is reaching the horizon as our spring um, constellations start to make it to midheaven. Our winter uh, constellations start to settle in the southeast, the winter triangle being one of them. The International Space Station is visible across the country today. It'll be north of Mars um, in that Gemini constellation energy gemini taurus constellation energy also the open star cl cluster of karina will meet the highest point in the sky at midnight tonight so say hello to the beautiful star cluster also known as the southern palladi so still giving off that taurian energy of love and emotions and self-value and motivation and your pinnacles and things like that so use it use that taurian energy to be not discouraged <laughs> okay but let it fill up your self-esteem a bit all right so enjoy this monday peace peace happy emoja day over here in this all set energy we have palace giving you the energy that you overlook your genius qualities in a 12th house your humanitarian pursuits also here is what to have on your altar on this emoja day and if you're looking for a natal reading a numerology reading or a gematria reading reach out to your goddess at lessnobiescollection.com also be sure to subscribe to the youtube page for our planetary forecast ashay